What's up guys, my name's Tom and today I have for you another installment in my guide to getting dark matter camo. Today I'm going to give specific tips and tricks for the best game modes to play to unlock all the shotgun camos. Now let's get to it. So tip number one for doing well with a shotgun is to learn how to slide shoot. Sliding and then shooting closes distances faster and also has the benefit of making you harder to hit. And doing this in core modes gives you more survivability. So even if you are shot once or twice before you get a shot off, you won't die. Tip number two is specific to the KRM and the Argus. Aiming down the sight lowers the pellet spread, which I find to be vital for getting kills with these guns. The bullet spread is enough that a hip fire shot with either of these guns will not get a one shot kill in core game modes. To increase your overall accuracy with these guns, I recommend a laser sight, quick draw, and even a stock if you can, in order to get you aiming down the sights and on target the moment you come into range. Tip number three applies more towards the Berechi and the Haymaker, but of course these can be applied to the Argus and the KRM if you so choose. To unlock the final five challenges for the Berechi and the Haymaker, you need 100 headshots, instead of the 100 one-shot kills like with the KRM and the Argus. For the 100 headshots, again, make sure that you are aiming down the sights. When aiming down the sights with these two guns, the pellet spread becomes almost a slug. And the Haymaker is okay to hip fire at close range because it's fully automatic and you maximize chances of hitting them with the bullet spread. But be warned, this greatly decreases damage and you may not get the kill at all. But if you do, hip fire just above the head. That way the bullets go over their head and at their head and not at their chest and head, where the final pellet may just hit their chest and not count as a headshot. Or you can just jump shot aim down, and shoot at their head from above. This method also has the benefit of making you harder to hit, just as slide shooting does. Now tip number four applies to all the shotguns. Play Nuketown, not hardcore. In hardcore with shotguns, you don't have enough time to kill before you get killed. With shotguns, it's all about map navigation. So follow the enemy movements and make sure to run the two shorter lanes of the map to use cover. Preferably, stay in a house and navigate both the upstairs and down. Follow a pattern movement that you make up and don't stay in one place the whole time. Movement is key. You don't want to find yourself out in the open waiting to be picked off by a ranged weapon. Now the rest of today's guide will be about the final five challenges to unlock gold camo on each of the shotguns. The ten revenge medals and the five double kill medals will come naturally as you complete the 50 kills with no attachments and 50 kills with 5 attachments and an optic challenges. So don't worry about them too much, they'll come naturally. Now always work towards the 5 bloodthirsties. They are by far the hardest to get, especially with a shotgun. Now to do this, play defensively and even camp. Do note that you just need 5 kills with the shotgun in one life. You can switch to a secondary, get a kill, switch back, get your fifth kill with a shotgun and you'd be fine even though it's your sixth kill in that life so be patient and also you can use rejack to continue the streak so say you get three kills you get downed you rejack you get two more kills that still counts as a bloodthirsty with your shotgun okay guys that's all i have for you today with this video guide you should be well on your way to getting dark matter camo thank you for watching and remember to please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and dislike it if you didn't Leave a comment down below if your feelings are more complicated than that, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Check back tomorrow for my in-depth dark matter camo guide for sniper rifles. I also want to give a special shout out to my friend Matt, aka Axiom500, for helping me with these first few videos. I've linked his Twitch down below, so go check him out. I'll see you in the next one.